everybody. Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher, and this is a basic introduction to the timbales. The timbales are a Afro-Cuban or Latin percussion instrument that are rooted in the orchestral timpani, and I'll talk about that in a second. But you can see we've got two drums with metal shells. We've got plastic drum heads. We've got two cowbells. So let me start at the cowbells and I'll work backwards to the drums. So we've got a mambo bell or the large bell, usually on the right, and we have a small bell or what's called a cha-cha bell on the left. On the mambo bell, we usually play the mouth of the bell with the edge of the stick and the top of the bell with the tip of the stick, and we can get two different sounds on the bell and play rhythms like this. On the cha-cha bell, we usually, in traditional salsa settings, would play just the open part of the bell, the mouth of the bell, with the edge of the stick. One, two, cha-cha-cha. That's pretty much what we do with the cha-cha bell. The shell of the drum or cascara, which means shell, we play with the sticks, and we would play that in the verse or the beginning parts or the quiet parts of a tune. So even though you might kick off a tune with a little figure on the drums, you'd probably immediately go to the shell or cascara. Okay, so that's a really important sound in the music that the timbalero provides. And then, of course, we've got the drums. And you can see these have two drums. The large drum is on the left, and the smaller drum or higher pitched drum is on the right. And that's because, as I mentioned earlier, the timbales actually come from the orchestral timpani that were played in the parlor and uh, restaurant bands back in Cuba. Uh, that were largely based in Spanish music, later uh, blending with the Afro-Cuban music or the African music, and beca which became salsa music, or son, before salsa. And the timpani got smaller and higher pitched, and we lost the mallet little tip on the end of the sticks, and now we play these drums, which are much higher pitched than the original timpani, with uh, timbali sticks, which are just flat or straight sticks. They don't have a bead on them, like drum set sticks, and they don't have the mallet end like timpani sticks. They are tuned quite high, but the reason we have the high drum on the right, and I'm mentioning this because I, I see sometimes people set up timbales and they think they are setting them up more like a drum set, which has the higher toms on the left moving lower to the right. Uh, the reason we have that is because in the timpani, in the orchestra, the smaller timpani are on the player's right and it moves down to the left, lower on the left, just like a piano or a marimba or any keyboard instrument. So that's why the high drum is on the right. So when you set up your timbales, put the high drum or the small drum on your right side and you'll be setting them up in the traditional way. Now, if you wanna set your own drums any way you want, that's okay, but I just want you to know the typical way that we would set them up. And while we're talking about that, let me mention that even though you've got a stand here that has an adjustment so you can tip the drums forwards and backwards or you know in towards you and away from you the typical way to set up the timbales is flat just like the timpani so if you think about the timpani that'll help you remember that you can set the timbales up flat and and the reason we want to do that is just that well first of all if you're sharing a set of timbales with anyone that's standard so you want to be standard if you go to sit in in a band or you have a band where you want to have other people sit in, then you want to set it up uh, which in a typical way. So um, that's one reason. But also it makes it easy to play the different sounds on the drum heads, which there are basically just two sounds. We have an open sound, which is hitting the drum heads with the tips of the sticks. And then we have what are called rim shots. So those of you that are not familiar with drum set or drumming, snare drumming, 
Uh, the rim shot is a combination of hitting the drum in the head, on the head, with the tip of the stick, and hitting the rim with the shoulder or the, the shaft of the stick. And you can, I don't know if you can see that, but my sticks are all dented up on the, sh on the shafts because I've been doing a lot of rim shots. The rim shot sounds like this. Quite a bit louder than the other sounds. It's got a sharper, brighter sound. So in combination, uh, that might sound something like this. Okay, so maybe consider earplugs if you're gonna be doing a lot of timbales. Um, that's my overview. So again, timbale sticks, like giant chopsticks. Uh, no tips, uh, you can use thin drumsticks, but timbale sticks are straight sticks. Mambo bell on the right, cha-cha bell on the left. Set them up flat, high drum on the right. This set is 13, 12, or I think, no, actually it's 14, 13. Uh, typical sizes would be 15, 14, 14, 13, maybe 13, 12, but then we're getting into a small size, which we call timbalitos. I think I have a set of 12, 10, and then a set of 14 or 14, 13 or something. So 14, 13, 12, 10. Uh, there's different sizes. You can look into that. Uh, yeah, set them up flat, set them up so they're just below, you know, you're a little bit below your, well, maybe even with your wrist, let's say. Uh, so that you're at a good height. They're, the drums are at a nice height for you to access them and play the different tones, okay? Go listen to some timbaleros. I recommend checking out some classic Tito Puente. Listen to Pancho Sanchez, the Pancho Sanchez band, and uh, check out some bands like uh, Los Van Van um, and some, you know, just search online for timbales uh, or timbale performances. Changuito. Uh, Luis Jose Quintana, uh, all right? And, you know, knock yourself out with timbales. Not literally, but just go have fun with them. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and join us at patreon.com slash Kalani to become a sustaining member where you get more than you get here for free on YouTube, all right? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the timbales. See you in a future lesson.